Open enrollment season is here for health insurance, and there's a lot of choices to make, both as a business and as an employee. This month, Joe Convertino Jr. of CH Insurance is joined by their assistant VP of Health Insurance Division, Joseph Corsi, who says there's a couple of reasons why Excellus Blue Cross Blue Shield, who is the main carrier of health insurance in this area, is still negotiating. Well, now in 2024, I believe it was over the reimbursement amounts. Um, in 2025, with Family Medical, care. There's a couple different issues. I can't really pinpoint exactly which one it is. But at the end of the day, a lot of people are nervous because a lot of people use family medical care. And so people don't know what to do starting in 2025. In the under 100 marketplace, they have probably 90% of you know, health insurance premiums throughout central New York, northern New York. So while we believe competition is good, it's kind of disrupting the consumer a little bit. Hmm. So there you go. So that's why this open enrollment, which is usually relatively cut and dry. Right. There's still a lot of questions because employers are saying, well, I don't know. A lot of my employees are using family medical care. And if Blue Cross Blue Shield is not covering that, right. they're asking me to maybe provide more than one carrier, which is something that is not normal, normally, but that uh, might be something where... Sounds kind of costly for a business to have to carry I, more than one. Well, I don't know how... Yeah, I don't know how that works. Yeah. But that's something that is being requested more and more, like, can we have this, this, and this, mm. as compared to just this? So, hmm. something that they're working on. And, you know, we are lucky that we get offered dental and right, eye vision. vision and things yeah. like that. And so, Joe, both of the Joes were saying that that is becoming more and more, that the employees want more choices yeah. like that. And they I mean, said we're paying for it though. Yes. It's not and like they said we're that it it's not like a it's not like a business for many of those. It costs them anything. Mm-hmm. If their employees want more of those like AFLAC and things like that, right. then they can offer that and it's not going to take anything away from the bottom line. All right. How about me talking health insurance? Look at you. Who didn't really know how to log on and take part in my open <laughs> enrollment. <laughs> You know, you have me we all, all have panicked. our talents. <laughs> I think you were supposed to check something. No, I didn't say. We used to have to go through everything right. and check it again, yeah. no, even this, if we had it last year. I think I'm good. I just wanted to don't make freak sure. Me. Did you recheck everything? We rechecked everything. Oh, no, I don't know. Well, you, I'm sure you're fine. I'm sure you're fine. Uh, I hope I mean, you can't get it again if you're not fine. Don't worry about it. All right. By the way, if you want to hear that entire conversations with Convertino, it is linked to our Ted and Amy 93Q Facebook page this morning. It's also, you know, we have an entire page of all the different months and all of the different topics. Diagnosis insurance, that's for sure.